pick up. Hopefully the truck's here. We're gonna have to help unload it or probably not, but we'll see. I'm gonna pull up here. Go to the farm store, pull all the way up past that sign so that our back door is kind of perpendicular with the door so we can just have an easy load. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, you get them. Oh, that's a, yeah, that's a three much. It's bigger than the buck I shot. She's like, save me. No, we're gonna yell at him, leave her alone. She doesn't like you. Is that a reverse? Yeah, it looks like no, it. No, it's not. No, it's just a, it's a three by three. Run! Run! I'll set a pick. Run! <laughs> Run! <laughs> oh no, not that way! Crazy. He's like a... Once we got home and the kids finished up with their homeschool, we just hung out at the table and colored some pictures by the Soothing humidifier. That is also a heater. It makes this space nice and cozy so that we can all enjoy some togetherness. Here in the high desert, the air gets really dry in the winter, especially with our forced air heating. So having a humidifier running in the rooms that we occupy has really helped my family's comfort. more and more difficult to stock your pantry with quality foods that are nutrient dense while still maintaining a budget and a frugal budget at that. Hi, my name is Katie and this is Rouse Rising and on this channel I share with you all about holistic homemaking, lifestyle, and parenting. For the past two years I have been stocking up my home with quality organic foods that I buy in bulk. And I've been doing that in preparation for this time right now that we are going through. We have been stocking and saving food for the last two years because we anticipated a job loss and we knew that there was going to be a pay gap in a time period when we didn't have income. So we needed to make sure that our family had food security. One way that we have managed food security in our home is to shop through Azure Standard. Azure Standard is a online or a virtual grocery store. They're actually a real family in a real place based in Morrow, Oregon. They found a way to bring quality foods to the community that we can buy in bulk. So if you are looking for quality foods that you can buy in bulk so that you can save your family money in the long run, then I encourage you to check the link down below in this video's description to Azure Standard. You can get so many different things from Azure Standard, from medicinals and teas to farm products, as well as cooking supplies, organic produce, bulk grains, beans, dried goods, so many wonderful things in addition to dairy products and meat products. When you order through Azure Standard, they are gonna bring your food to a local drop location near you, and it's your job to meet the truck and get your items at that date and time. Our drop is once a month, so I place an Azure order once every month when I remember, sometimes I forget, and we go to the drop location and pick up our goods and bring them home. Then we organize and store our bulk goods for long-term food storage. If you're looking for ideas for how to store your food for the long-term, check out my playlist for my pantry. In that playlist, you're gonna find how to stock your pantry on a budget. You're gonna find different storage methods, different long-term preservation methods, as well as what foods should you be stocking for long-term food storage so that your family has food security. 
when you share your Azure standard link with your friends and family, and when they spend $100 at Azure, you're going to get a $20 credit to your account so that you can buy more groceries. Azure also has Azure Cash, and when you buy their products or their name brand products, you get a little bit of money back to use on your future purchases. So there's multiple ways that you can save money with Azure Standard. Always check their sales flyer and be sure to buy your foods when they are in season, especially produce and things like that. That's where you're gonna save the most money. And then when you can buy those foods in season in bulk, you can take them home and process those foods and make them shelf stable or put them into your freezer for long-term food storage. If you have any questions about long-term food storage, about starting your pantry or building your pantry and creating food security in your home, drop your questions down below in this video's comment section. Thank you so much for joining me today. Let's dive into this Azure Standard Grocery Haul. I'm going to give you the prices and a price breakdown and why I bought the products that I did. I'm going to start out with what I got in my box and Azure does a really good job at packaging items and when you get your items you will see on your items that they tell you uh, how many packages you have, how many uh, crates or boxes you have and then the packages will say one out of four. So for instance today I had one, two, three, hold on I had five. Ah, had more than I thought. <laughs> So they will tell you how many, four out of five or whatever, on each individual package. So you make sure that you grab all of your crates of food when you go to your Azure pickup. So the first thing that I got was um, these raw Brazil nuts, and I got two pounds of raw Brazil nuts, and these were $9.52 per pound for the two pound package, and my total was $17.14. I got Brazil nuts because I have a thyroid uh, autoimmune disease called Hashimoto's and with Hashimoto's uh, you have to supplement with thyroid uh, medication or something so selenium rich foods are really good for people with thyroid disorders. I also take a selenium uh, supplement as well as an iodine supplement daily and since starting the Brazil nuts and the supplements, I have been able to lower my thyroid medication, which my goal is to get off thyroid medication completely, but I've been on that journey for over 15 years and it's proven difficult for me, but I'm gonna keep on trying to heal my thyroid despite the fact that it's still struggling. So we're gonna keep at it. We're gonna eat our Brazil nuts. That's gonna help, that nutrition is gonna help our thyroid. I also got for my kids, we got the Thompson raisins. These are organic raisins and I do get the oiled raisins. Some people do not like that. The unoiled raisins are a little bit stickier and I have lots of kids and little fingers that snack on these raisins and I don't want the stickiness. And these are a little bit easier for them to eat because they're separated. We like to use these in our oatmeal and granola. We also like to get the apple juice infused cranberries, but I haven't been getting those because they're really expensive and we're on a tight budget. So this month I got the five pound bag of the organic raisins and that comes out to $2.88 per pound. The five pound bag total was $14.39. We have tried Azure Standards egg noodles before, and we got the thicker egg noodles that are really good for stroganoff or for those fatter noodle recipes, and we really liked those. I decided this time to go with the traditional homemade 1 8 inch narrow for soup noodles because I wanted to be able to use these in chicken noodle soups and in broth for my kids to help them drink some more broth. So we went ahead and grabbed these, and this is quick and easy. I can open up a can of broth, open up some canned chicken that I canned earlier this year, add those to a pot with the noodles, bring it to a boil, and boom, we have a nourishing lunch for the kids. So these are $6.04 a pound, and I got a two and a half pound bag. My total was $15.09 for this large bag of organic noodles, and they are made with Durham wheat and eggs and water. 
So semolina flour is what they are made with. All right, the last thing in my box is this 12 pound jug of honey. We were using a lot of honey and I used honey daily in my tea. I'm actually working on eliminating all sugars and refined carbs and even natural sugars and things like that. I'm trying to really limit those things in my diet since my pancreatitis has been a literal nightmare. And so I am working to really narrow down my diet to the foods that don't hurt me. I'm not really sure exactly what those are. We're on a journey here, folks. So right now I am just eliminating a lot of sugars. So this is gonna hopefully get us through this whole winter. I was going through 12 pounds of honey about every two to three months. Uh, using it in a lot of the baked goods and recipes for my family. Um, but I think it's going to last a little bit longer because like I said, I'm not, I'm no longer going to be consuming massive quantities of honey in my tea. So this was, the honey is $3.59 a pound when you get the large 12 pound jar. And the large 12 pound jar is $33.78. This is the pure clover honey and it is really nice. We enjoy that a lot. Okay, right here we've got a big block of mozzarella. This was $23.51 and it comes out to $3.92 a pound. And I don't know about y'all, but if you go to the grocery store and you buy a pound of sliced deli cheese, you're looking at $10 for a pound of sliced cheese. So we buy the blocks and they come out to $3 and what did I say? $3.92 per pound. And yes, it's a little bit of work. We have to slice it up, shred it up, do whatever ourselves, but it's worth it to buy the large bulk block of cheese. I tried to keep this order under $200 this month. So I only got the one cheese sort of thinking I should have gotten two of these. Normally when I buy this, I buy two six pound blocks of cheese and that lasts us for about two months. Uh, I do that because Aaron is on a carnivore diet. He did have one of those date balls the other day uh, and that was really good. So occasionally we will cheat and try something like that, but his diet is way more strict than mine because I still eat um, some fruits and vegetables, but he eats a lot of uh, dairy and meat products, all animal products. So he has been making these wraps with, um, and I'll share it with you at the end of this video, so stay tuned. And I'll tell you the ingredients that he uses, but he's been making those keto wraps with eggs, mozzarella, and Greek yogurt, and they're really awesome. And I'm really impressed. So he's been using up a lot of cheese lately to make those wraps. We also got the six pack of Nancy's uh, probiotic sour cream and these came out to $3.17 per container. They are organic. This whole stack was $19.04. And then I also got for the kids some Nancy's uh, cream cheese. These were $18.25 each and came out to $3.03 per container. So we'll use these for breakfast on our English muffins or on sandwiches or in wraps, whatever we decide to do with that. All right. Right here behind me is a large 50 pound box of organic russet potatoes. And these came out to $1 a pound. So the total was $49.79, so a little bit less than a dollar a pound. I thought that was kind of expensive, but when you're looking at organic large potatoes, and they are quite large. This is the size of these russet potatoes. They are the size of my hands. The last thing we got was this large bag of certified organic quick rolled oats. This is 25 pounds. And because I didn't write the price for these on the bag, I'm just gonna write the price the total of the bag per pound right here across the screen. I decided to go with the quick rolled oats because recently I tried to make the kids some of those energy balls and I shared those with you in a previous video. Um, 
And all I have are the old fashioned rolled oats and those were really hard for the kids to chew and digest. So I thought if I got the quick rolled oats, I could make them those protein energy oat balls and they could digest the oats a little bit better. Um, I should probably soak the oats prior, but the quick rolled oats work better in a lot of baked recipes. So that's why I went with those this time. Typically I buy a 50 pound bag of the old fashioned rolled oats and a 50 pound bag of the old fashioned rolled oats lasts my family one year. Uh, and I put that 50 pound bag into two buckets. So this is gonna go into one bucket and probably a few containers and I will fill that up and show you what that looks like in just a minute. Um, but keep that in mind. They also have gluten-free, certified gluten-free rolled oats. Um, and we got the certified organic ones for my kiddos. And then I don't eat oats because I have three autoimmune diseases and this whole pancreatitis thing going on exciting stuff. But if you're interested in following my journey, click subscribe. I'm sharing all the nitty gritty details about what I'm going through on my health journey. So that is something we're still navigating. And then amidst all of this, I suffered for two years with severe gut pain and that is still going on, but we figured out it's pancreatitis and that can be managed with diet and some lifestyle things. Um, but it is recurrent and I can't predict when it's going to hit. So I just have to do the best I can managing it with my diet and trying to eat the foods that don't cause flares. So I'm still learning all of this. Oats is one of the things that I eliminated about a year ago and so far so good. I really do miss oats and oatmeal. I will have a taste occasionally. I'm not allergic to them. I just had really high elevated histamines. Can I have them in moderation? Yes, like, you know, once a month maybe. I haven't. I've just had a taste of something I was making for the kids to make sure the flavor was all right, but I haven't dove in and had a full bowl of oatmeals in close to a year. So that's something that we're still trying to figure out here. I'm thankful for Azure because I can buy organic noodles, egg noodles. I can buy organic raisins. All of this stuff is affordable when I purchase it for my family of seven in bulk. And I hope that you check it out. Check out Azure Standard. I guarantee there's a drop location near you. Well, I can't guarantee it because there's a few people that said, I have to drive an hour or I have to drive two hours to my drop location. Rest assured, if there's not a drop location near you, you can sign up with Azure Standard and create a drop location in your town, generate an interest on a couple of community pages, see if you can get other people that are interested in having an Azure Standard drop. And if they are, then you can organize a drop location near you and get affordable organic groceries in bulk, just like I've been doing for the last two years for my family. And we have been able to get through this difficult time by having foods in bulk in our pantry and stocked away in our shelves, on our shelves, in our freezers. And it's been such a blessing to us to now, we're to the point where we can just maintain and spend $200 a month on the bulk food that we just ran out of. Or if we wanna try something new, we can do that. Um, we get our staples, every month or every other month from there. Some of our staples are the dairy products and things like sweeteners, honeys, snacks. They have so many different types of dried fruits and goods. Um, definitely check it out and see if it's something that will suit your family. And that is everything. I'm gonna share a few things, not a whole lot because there's not really a lot going on around here since Aaron and I have been trying to get back to good health. We've been resting a lot. That's something that we've definitely needed this season in our life is a lot of rest. I know I'm chipper and I'm smiling, but I've learned in the, what is it now? 30 years, 26 years of chronic pain that I've been in that the best way to get through really hard times is to smile through them as best as you can and to be a light for other people. We all have our struggles. I know some of you out there are really struggling and I've been saying my prayers for those of you who have commented down below and let me know that you're going through a really hard time too. And I've been thinking about you and keeping you on my heart. I know that there are better times for us ahead. There are, I can, I just know it. I feel it in my heart. I know that 
there are brighter days ahead. We've got to figure it out. We've got to get healthy. We've got to get better. And just maintain that positive attitude. The best thing we can do for our bodies is have a great positive mind-body connection. Our thoughts feed our bodies. They feed our cells. The way we think really affects our bodies. The stress that we're under affects our bodies. The last three years have been so incredibly stressful. We got to the end of the road and kind of fell apart. So make sure that you're taking care of yourself. Make sure that you're giving yourself grace. Make sure that you are resting and that you're taking the time that you need to rejuvenate your mind, body, and soul. Nourish yourself. You're deserving of good food. You're deserving of rest. You deserve so much more than what you give yourself. And as many of you have said to me before down in the comments, allow people to bless you. You're depriving people of the joy of blessing you when you don't ask for help. So if you need help, reach out and ask for that help. I know I've struggled my whole life asking anybody for help, but I'm doing a little bit better. I've, I've jumped one hurdle in the race and there's many more hurdles to go, but I've asked for help. I've asked for help. And you know, that's something that um, was difficult for me to do, but I know that by allowing other people into my life, it's a blessing to them and they are blessing me. And in some way, somehow I'm blessing them. So remember that if you ever are in need, remember that if, if you're struggling, it's okay to ask for help. It's okay to accept help and it's okay to say, no, I'm not okay. You can say that. You don't have to lie your way through life and say everything's great and everything's rosy because it's not always that way. And while it appears like it on the surface, there's much deeper things going on in each one of our lives and how we manage that and how we persevere and push forward and we keep rising every single day to just put one foot in front of the other. That's all we can do is focus on the now. The future is the future and it's bright and we have to believe it. And the past is the past. All that darkness can stay there. Let's keep moving forward in love and in light. And I believe it. I have to believe it with all my heart and soul that better days are ahead. I believe it for you too. And I will see you guys in the next video. Enjoy these clips from this week, hanging out with my family and seeing some of the goodies that we picked up along the way. Any of the products that I share with you, I will link down below in my Amazon storefront. If you want to check those out, I would love it if you did. Let's go do work. Gotta work on myself Cause I'm falling apart Please wake me up This is the Pozole Verde soup that we canned up a few months back and it's perfect because I don't have to make myself a meal. I can just pop open these jars of delicious soup and I have a nourishing meal. All I have to do is reheat and eat. It's got all the good stuff in it. Mom, I need a Dunkin Donuts. I need to film Aaron making these, but these are... Um, this is egg yogurt, Greek yogurt, and mozzarella cheese, and we use them, we make wraps with them. He bakes them in the yeah, oven, the and it's amazing. So I'm just having a salad with some ground deer salad and this. All right, today we are making this crisp crumble topping for fruit. You can screenshot that recipe, my chicken scratch. And this is from Lenny Corser one of our subscribers here on Rouse Rising. She shared this recipe with me and we have been making it ever since. So I butter my dish. You don't have to butter it, but I buttered it. Throw some peaches in there. We mixed up all of our ingredients already. There we go. So I'm just gonna mash all this down in there, kind of mix it into those peaches and that'll get all bubbly and delicious we preheated our oven to 350 and we're going to bake that for 20 to 30 minutes probably closer to 30 minutes because this is a thicker 
Uh, this is a thicker casserole, not thicker casserole dish, but it's taller and um, it's a little bit smaller than your typical nine by 13. So um, I used a large quart jar of peaches. Get all that syrup on there. And there we go. Pop that in the oven. Thank you so much for joining me, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Rise above the dough. Need all my challenges and search for my strength. I defeat them all. I'm never ever gonna hide no more. I come to love myself again. Yeah. For all the things I didn't know, the pain, the hurt, I let it go. Yeah.